Hi, I'm doing new patient exams today and young Michelle has come in for a consultation. Now she's concerned by her crooked teeth, but the point I'm trying to get through to dentists is that you need to look at wear facets and link them with uh, bruxism, okay? So uh, let's have a look here. But that's Michelle's normal bite. She has a deep overbite and obviously she's concerned by the crowding of the teeth. And you know, an average orthodontist is just gonna look at that and line up the teeth, no big deal. But if you look further, can you just open really wide? You can see the scalloping on the side of the tongue, which is a classic sign of sleep disordered breathing. And just so say ah, and you ah. see the malampati. Malampati is four. What does malampati four mean? It means effectively all we're seeing is the palate. We're not seeing an oropharyngeal airway opening. Now look at the wear facets. Look at this um, canine. See how the canine is um, totally worn down? That's what dentists should pick up on and realize that bruxism uh, doesn't always mean it's stress-related behavior. It could be related to um, a malampati of four, scalloping, tongue tie, etc. Now, have a look here. Now, that is not a chipped tooth. That's wear facets. Can I get you to bite like you normally or you did before? Okay, now bring your jaw forward for a second. That's it. And just there. Have a look at that. A dentist, even with the best diamond burr in the world, wouldn't be able to get the anatomy that good. And the reason the anatomy is like that is because that's where the bruxism is going on. So you can see how the central tooth one one has the wear associated with tooth four one. And what's happening? The patient is bringing their jaw forward at night to open up their airway, which is to make room for their tongue. Now just, just keep biting there, thank you. So in that position, you can see where the tongue sits. You can see the imprint on the teeth. So um, malampati, wear facets, scalloping of the tongue, that's the thing you need to look at if you're going to combine orthodontics with um, airway uh, or sleep, or dental sleep medicine is the word I use. So please have a look and that way where you can help your patients more because there's no point giving someone straight teeth if they're gonna wear them down. There's no point giving someone straight teeth if they're gonna suffer from sleep apnea as they get older.